Alright, so I'm hanging out at this library after hours, after it closed, about a good hour after it closed, like about 9 o'clock. I hear all this, this noise, this singing, rapping, <laughs> and this young black guy, young black male, probably high schooler, tall and skinny, just comes in, starts using the Wi-Fi, um, rapping different lyrics periodically, and then and then he uh, sits down a ways from me and, and uh, starts smoking some marijuana, and then making comments out loud, of course, because they don't think they don't have inner thoughts; they have outer thoughts. <laughs> it's it's so so common. And he was talking about how he was getting high and how, how I was feeling good and stuff. And I'm like, all right, uh, I've been curious about the marijuana laws in Nevada because it seems like they're kind of loose with the, with the regulation. So I look and here it, uh, they, the Nevada voted to make recreational marijuana legal on January 1st so I didn't I didn't know at the time I didn't know uh, uh, for New Year's that it was really uh, a, like a momentous occasion for everybody to have uh, marijuana now recreationally I thought that was that was interesting and you know that uh, that night of New Year's I was hanging out at the, another library and somebody asked me if I was going to get effed up and I was like no I'll stay sober and those they had they showed me like nine joints they had like nine joints you know you, there's nowhere no store that can legally sell recreational marijuana but everybody is like all ready for it it's these bums hanging out at this this one library south of of uh, the Las Vegas, kind of on the strip, had uh, nine joints to celebrate the New Year, um, and I, I didn't really, I didn't know that. I didn't know that um, that was that was a, a legalized thing for this this year, 2017. So it looks like people are are celebrating that kind of freedom and. Uh, legalization of marijuana, uh, but they're still pretty strict about its use. You can't like smoke it anywhere. You can't consume it anywhere. They said in in the news, uh, you you have to consume it in your private residence. But what about the homeless people? It's it's a law to uh, affect homeless people adversely. Personally, I, I don't bother, I wouldn't bother trying to get high on anything. Because the cops are always on my case, and it, it just it seems more fair to stay sober for them cops. I don't want to be caught under the influence of anything with these cops so while I'm sleeping in my car all over the place. It's too risky. Maybe a light high, but nothing where I get really messed up. Cops really like to mess with people too much. You know, they love waking you up and if you're sleeping and, and uh, asking you all kinds of dumb questions. So, I thought it was, I thought it was interesting. Um, this is the second time, you know, I've been hanging out, hanging out at the libraries quite a bit, so I'm going to see different things. But this is the second time I've, I've seen somebody go into the library to, like, get high after hours. Get on the Wi-Fi, smoke your marijuana, and, and relax like that. Um, yeah, it uh, can be fun, but uh, you just... If you're gonna get, if the cops are gonna catch you at the time, it's it's really 
It's difficult to, to talk. It's, it's I've found it difficult to talk my way through a conversation with it, with it, really anybody. You know, I, I barely have, I can barely have a hold a conversation uh, sober, let alone under the influence. Well, maybe, maybe marijuana isn't so bad. Um, alcohol is what really uh, tears up your your tissues, all that acid and stuff. Smoking somewhat, you just you gotta you gotta control how much you smoke. Um, but uh, you can, you're not gonna find any marijuana farms around here. That's for sure. I don't believe that marijuana can be grown very well anywhere in Nevada. Uh, Oregon, it's it's very possible. I mean, they got hops farms. If they can grow hops in Oregon, they can grow marijuana. It's about the it's the cousins, very similar in nature, similar plants. But not much can grow in Nevada, so... Nevada felt maybe like they're falling a little bit behind on, on uh, loose regulations. And they certainly did with, with that, with the drugs. Nevada's got to have the reputation... Nevada wants to have the reputation of, of uh, being the most liberal with uh, vices. So recreational is right up Nevada's reputation. It follows along closely with this its reputation. Okay, let's see where. Oh man, I haven't been bothered by these guys yet. And I don't really plan on sticking around for my, oh, Jesus, what the heck. I don't plan on sticking around for much longer. One more night, I'd like to try. They don't seem to be regulating this, but I'll find out the hard way. <laughs> 